Today, jurors in the Anthony Sowell murder trial had a full day of medical testimony. They learned a lot more about how some of the victims may have died. Jurors were shown more than 600 crime scene photos, including autopsy pictures. Some victims were found with rope or cloth tied around their necks and stuffed in plastic bags. A forensic pathologist describes how the body of 43-year-old Kim Smith was found. The body is lying on its right side with the knees bent and exposure of the right knee bone. The body is bound at the ankles and wrists with cloth bindings wrapped multiple times. The wrists are bound in front of the body. Jurors also saw crime scene photos of Sowell's extensive movie collection, which included The Night of the Living Dead. The trial resumes Tuesday morning. An untested rape kit, a lost DNA sample. When it comes to evidence in the Anthony Sowell trial, officials admit mistakes have been made. Mistakes that may have left the accused serial killer free to kill. Investigator Sarah Buddison explores what is being done to improve crime fighting in Ohio. He is now on trial for murder, but there are questions about whether accused serial killer Anthony Sowell could have landed here much sooner. Before 11 bodies were found inside his Imperial Avenue home in October of 2009. From where I sit, uh, you, you look at that case or any case that, that, that you want to explore and say, what are lessons learned? Tom Stickrath is the superintendent of the Ohio Bureau of Criminal Identification and Investigation. He says the state is reviewing everything from evidence collection to its DNA databases in part because of the Sowell case. I want to know if there are any gaps in there. Recently, the Attorney General's office admitted it lost a DNA sample taken from Anthony Sowell while he was in prison for attempted rape during the 1990s. After his arrest in 2009, two women complained Cleveland police didn't investigate reports that Sowell raped them. This is a standard state of Ohio evidence collection kit that is used in sexual assault cases. Liz Benzinger is the quality assurance manager at the state's DNA lab in London. She showed us how the state uses chemicals to detect sperm on samples and then extract DNA. She says the SOEL case shows how important DNA has become to criminal cases. It used to be a novelty, but now it's expected in almost every case. To avoid more mistakes, Stickrath says the state may create rules for handling rape kits, and more DNA processing will take place in the London lab to reduce the chance it could get lost. His main priority, speeding up the time it takes to process DNA, so that if there's ever another accused serial killer on the loose, Police will get all the evidence and get it quickly. That says to me, let's push up the time frames a little bit on when we can start doing more of that work inside and reduce the number of hands, uh, the number of times you hand off this particular evidence. Experts say it is really important to test DNA and enter the samples in the state database, and here's why. Stickreth says on average, the state's DNA database helps police find people they're looking for 100 times a month. Stay with News Channel 5 and NewsNet5.com for continuing coverage of the Sowell trial. We have live blog updates from inside the courthouse. You can also follow the trial on your smartphone with our mobile app. Just search for NewsNet5.com.